typically aware of the census, but the re actual response rate is, is much lower. So that would be another hurdle. Would you concur or disagree that the, uh, the census is rooted in Article I of the Constitution, which enumerates the powers of the legislative branch? Oh, um, I will pass on, on that <laughs> one. I, will. I guess the, the, the question is, uh, who, who do you believe the census director reports to? Well, legally, um, to the Commerce Secretary. And that, I believe, is in, in statute. And is it uh, your experience from past decennials that the director often briefed the president but never, quote unquote, reported to him? Well, I mean, for what we've seen in news accounts and also from some experience during the Bush administration, um, there was some contact between um, the census director um, and, and the White House, OMB. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, we reported here today the census. But communication is a little different than actually reporting right, to. Right, and they're, they're two different things. It's one thing for the White House to um, be aware of and, and make sure that the census stays on track, but it's that is not a reporting relationship. Um, but in terms of um, holding the Bureau accountable, it's a very powerful tool um, to have White House involvement. The thing is that the, the White House, it has to be that right balance between focusing on management and operational issues versus the science of the census. You don't want the White House or any political influence um, on the science of, of taking the census. Very good. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, just one, one question for, for Dr. Himes. Um, you know, the, the Bureau is working with MITRE on uh, mitigation plans. Um, what are your greatest concerns about um, timetables and the plans? So I think, again, our, our, uh, our greatest concern would be uh, those that GAO has, has put together, that um, the time to test and verify uh, where the systems are working, uh, particularly from a, uh, a system view. So we think that um, uh, there are tools in place that give census better insights into uh, the status of their systems than they've had in the past. And um, the people that are working on them have uh, uh, substantial experience. Uh, but it's still a fairly large burden considering the amount of time uh, remaining to track that whole activity end to end. Thank you so much for that response, Dr. Hemp. I'll yield uh, to Mr. Westmore. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate that. I just I didn't have any other questions, but uh, when Mr. Goldenkoff passed on the uh, Article One of the Constitution question, I felt like we might want to discuss that a little bit further. Uh, that the GAO understands uh, that uh, we feel like the census. The origin of the census is rooted. Oh, that no question. Article yeah, one, in, section in, two. Article, Maybe I misunderstood you know, the, the, in the Article question. Article one of the Constitution, then, which enumerates the power of the legislative branch. And so, yes. you know, I just wanted to make sure that you understood that, and you were just passing on the question. Maybe for. No, I guess I, I misunderstood yeah. the question. I, I, I oh, apologize, okay. but definitely, yeah. it's Article one, section two, and that spells out the basic. Uh, and, and, of the and you know, I think, uh, and Mr. Chairman, I would like to just make a, just a comment, if I could, that we all understand how important this census is uh, for redistricting, for the um, uh, allocation of federal money. And uh, I'm very pleased with the testimony that we've heard today because I think that uh, everybody on that panel wants to have an accurate count, an enumeration of everybody in this country, people who were here at the time of the census. And so I think that's the reason that, you know, there's been so much uh, uh, about, you know, whether the White House wants to have it reported to or the uh, Commerce Secretary, uh, there is or is not a director. I feel very confident from just the information I've heard from uh, the Census Bureau and, and the acting director there and from the GAO and the things that they've looked at that this process is going forward about as well as it could and that there's been a lot of hard work uh, put into it. And so I think that the reason there's so much going on right now is everybody wants to make sure that every person is counted. And so um, 
I appreciate all of you coming. I want to thank the chairman for having this hearing because I think he recognizes the importance to each and every one of us and the fact that we get a very accurate count. And so with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back to balance my time. Thank you, Mr. Westmoreland. And, uh, you know, in, in conclusion, let me thank the witnesses for their testimony today. If I could ask just one. Oh, you Chairman. have another question? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll yield <laughs> to Mr. McKinley. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to get this on the record, uh, Mr. Metzberg. <clears throat> from the Census Bureau's perspective, and I, I'm sure you'd, you, these are questions you'd like to answer. Uh, any and all the information obtained from the census forms cannot be used uh, for any other purpose, including tax or law enforcement purposes. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Many of us have received feedback from our constituents regarding privacy concerns. Obviously, very, very, uh, very much in, in mind today, especially. But information given by people to the Census Bureau is confidential by law. Is that correct? By law, by Title okay. 13. All right. Um, and the main challenge is, uh, well, getting people to respond is one of the main challenges, yeah, as you mentioned. So um, is there, because people maybe have a mistrust of government, um, what efforts are you taking to ensure that, uh, that people know that any information given to them, uh, giving, given to them is uh, kept only within the Census Bureau and not shared with any other government agency, department, or any other, any other individual? Well, that, that information will, will be on the report form that everybody receives, but probably more importantly, it's going to be a key focus of our advertising message and our partnership program. So it's one thing for the Census Bureau to tell people it's confidential in the uh, hard to reach segments of the population. Our partnership program is aimed to get a trusted voice in that community to tell people that live in that community. And our partnership specialists will be hired from the community that they're working in, that you, you can trust uh, the Census Bureau, uh, that they'll hold your data confidential. Certainly. And finally, if um, uh, you and your staff could uh, prepare a follow-up for this. This is uh, too long of a question. Our time is short. Um, I, I'd like to know the Census Bureau's full plan to minimize the undercount and overcount. Uh, and I know you already have plans in place, but if we could uh, receive that, I think that would be important for committee members to hear the, the full breadth and depth of your plan. And so we can also uh, see ways that we can engage other stakeholders. And certainly. And thank you all. And thank you, Mr. Chairman. Very I certainly good. appreciate Very it. Very good. Thank you. And uh, the, the first major um, operation of the 2010 Census uh, address canvassing begins on March 30th. Uh, there will not be any other opportunities to build a complete and accurate address list. Uh, time is of the essence. Uh, it is critical that the Bureau work with GAO, uh, MITRE, and use every resource available uh, to get this right. Uh, six major systems still need to be tested. The life cycle cost estimate needs to be validated uh, and, and testing must be prioritized. Uh, let me thank all of the witnesses for coming today uh, and, and thank the members of this committee for their singular focus uh, and, and their commitment to seeing uh, that the 2010 census uh, be successful. And on that note, uh, this hearing is adjourned. Thank you.